carriage house is underway. What do you think, hon? <laughs> it looks bigger than it did on paper. Yeah, it's gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, though, right? I guess. <laughs> People always say you'll never regret building a garage too big. So uh -huh. I'm not regretting a thing right now. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to see the hopefully the ground floor done and start setting up our engineer beams. Hopefully start seeing some of the uh, sheathing go up and maybe even a wall or two on the second floor. Woo-woo! Mm All right, standing on the second floor of the carriage house. Pretty exciting to see the floor structure going in up here. Nice view from up here. Good view down the road and nice view of the neighbor's pasture out uh, in behind the garage here. So super excited to have this thing going up. Rain's falling now, of course, when I get up here to check things out. Hopefully guys will get a break in the weather tomorrow and be back here to put down some more of the uh, sheathing on the floor and then start framing up the walls for the upstairs. Super excited to see that coming together. All right, babe, it's time for an update on the carriage house. <laughs> what are you thinking? I didn't know you were taping. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> mm. What do you think? It's great. You excited? Very exciting. So we are standing in the, uh, the bay where the lift is going to go. So that's why you can still see sky here. And in this area behind us, uh, so that's going to be uh, a little lower ceiling there. Yeah. There are going to be two bays over here with a definitely still a high ceiling. It is. Ten feet. Nine, nine feet. Well, ten feet, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, ten, ten. Nine ten, to the top of the door. Nine open. to the top of the door. I have a nine foot door, so yeah, they're ten foot plus. That should be plenty high. That'll get the openers and the door track and everything up out of the way. We're gonna use those high tracks that um, allow the door to go vertical up beyond you know, the height of the, uh, the door opening. That way they'll be up out of the way. The door won't be hanging down you know, in front of the opening. So that's gonna look good and give us plenty of room to uh, maneuver bigger vehicles. We have a couple of those, don't we? A few. There you go, <laughs> not mine. So that's super exciting. Let's run upstairs. What do you think? All right, first time. I'm worried this is going to be tight. Once you get first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I walked through a cobweb. I'm glad I let you go first. <laughs> Funny how that worked out. Uh huh. Walked through another bad. cobweb. Okay. Wow. So standard eight foot ceilings here. Okay, our 
specs aren't quite working out right. I told you about that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, is that what he's going to have to redo? Oh, yeah, so this is nice. So again, uh, there'll be a wall here behind me. And then you can see down to the shop floor below there. Maybe we can do an observation window. People can come up and keep an eye on the progress. What do you think? Uh-huh. So this is going to be a nice, uh, nice space. I can't, our windows are all the way over. Very nice. So we're, this will just be one big room up here, and then there'll be a bathroom over in this area have a uh, two-piece bath, a shower, and a toilet. So uh, that'll be nice. So we can use this as a guest suite for anybody who comes to stay for a longer period of time. We're also gonna have storage here and a workout room up here. So we can come down and work out and shower here if we want to. This is gonna work out great. But as you can see, there's uh, starting to set the trusses, but there's no sheeting yet. The uh, guys are on vacation for a few days. They'll be back next week. Uh, to set the rest of the trusses and start running the sheeting up there. So uh, we'll be ready for shingles soon, get this place dried in, and uh, we can start working on the inside. What do you think so far, hon? Excited? Mm -hmm. They may have to reframe these front windows. She yeah. is excited. All Moving right, over. so we'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> See you again soon with another update. <laughs> update time on the carriage house. As you can see, it's really starting to look like a carriage house now. Before we had uh, just the ground floor done, you really couldn't appreciate the size of it or what all it was gonna offer once it was completed. So now you can see a full three bays. And it looks like they've got all of the trusses up except for one. And let's take a run upstairs real quick and uh, check out the upstairs. I'm super excited about it progress they've been making here all right so this is the inside of the work bay this is where we'll have uh, the two post lift it's going to be a 10,000 pound extra tall two post lift that way uh, I can get my six foot three self underneath trucks and everything else when I'm working on them in here and then the other two bays Ceilings in here are nice and tall. They're approaching 11 feet. So we're gonna have plenty of room in here. Working on vehicles and everything without having to worry about crashing into the ceiling. There's another look at the lift bay. So when I'm not rebuilding a house, I love working on cars and trucks and doing restorations and flipping vehicles and everything else. And my kids are starting to get to the age where they're thinking about a vehicle. So I'm looking forward to being able to use this space to teach them how to do mechanic work, fix up their first vehicle, really give them a sense of appreciation for ownership of a vehicle, what it takes to keep one running. Really excited about that. But we're gonna be able to keep the tractor in here, the mower, all of our woodworking equipment. Uh, and all of the uh, vehicle stuff as well. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so this is the upstairs. See all the trusses here. Oh man, this is a, this is a nice spot. See our little garden shed slash uh, clubhouse for the kiddos. Man, Our neighbor's pasture over there in the apiary. Our neighbor keeps bees. Always buzzing around our clover. We might keep some bees at some point, maybe some chickens. So yeah, so this is nice. Uh, the ceilings here are gonna be a little over eight feet. I'm guessing by reaching up about eight foot two, eight foot three. So this area is gonna feel nice too. Uh, this will be walled off. 
so you won't fall down in here. But this gives you a sense of scale. Looking downstairs here. So we'll have this big window, actually three big windows in this work bay. So that means lots of natural light, which is fantastic. I'm excited about that. And then two windows down below. So we're gonna have lots of natural light. Won't feel like a dungeon in here. And then this window is the bathroom window. So we're gonna have a shower, toilet and a vanity in here. And again, nice view. Loving it out here. So we're gonna landscape all this. Amber's hope is to uh, have an English garden. We've got all these statues around here and so we figured it'd be a great place to display some of them. Of course, we've got this massive brick pile to contend with. <laughs> See the vines are starting to grow out on it. That's lovely. Uh, but a lot of those I'm going to use to build a patio down around our um, outdoor fireplace. Not the new one, the one down in the woods. The stone barbecue, we call it. So a lot of those bricks are going to go to that. And I'm going to build some sidewalks. So we've got plans for them. Man, there's a ton of them. Unreal. But yeah, around, around back here where the excavator's sitting all the way back to the hillside, we're going to clean all this up, get rid of uh, a couple of these older dying trees, and uh, make a nice little English garden here. It's going to have a nice view out the front, too. You can see uh, part of our side yard there, our thinking bench. That's where, where we ever started this project. Amber and I used to sit try to figure this whole thing out. <laughs> We're still figuring it out, let's be honest. But yeah, so from here you'll be able to just look down the road in both directions. Can't quite see the house. The road kind of bends around and of course a lot of trees in the way too, but I've got so much landscaping to do. So my hope is to get something like a Kubota BX series that has a uh, front bucket and then a backhoe on the back and then a finish mower. It's gonna be all wheel drive and have turf tires on it, not ag tires. Uh, turf tires would be great because I'll be able to get a lot of mowing done and uh, you know, not tear the yard up because we got some steep spots. So anyways, <laughs> we are making great progress here Still a long ways to go, but the guys are hoping to get the sheathing on the top today and get the last of this stuff kind of framed in over here in uh, both corners. And then once that's done, they're going to call for the roofers. So we're hoping that uh, today's Friday. We're hoping that uh, the roofers will be here next week and then we'll be able to get this place dried in. Our windows have been delayed. We ordered them back in March. Here it is, almost July, and our, our windows still aren't done yet, still haven't arrived. So that's gonna be the next big holdup. But at least with the roof on, we're gonna be able to get most of this place dried in and you can start working on roughing in electric and plumbing, building some interior walls where needed for the bathroom, etc. So we still have things that we can get accomplished. while we're waiting on the windows, but that's a little frustrating. And when you ask about it, the answer you always get is, oh, COVID. <laughs> that's, anytime there's a supply chain issue or anything, people tie it back to COVID. And yeah, I'm sure some of that's probably not too far from the truth because we're dealing with, you know, still dealing with the fallout from that. So anyways, our windows will get here eventually. I did uh, hear our garage doors are here. At least uh, they're, in, they're in town, they're not here, here. So hopefully we'll get those garage doors up here and then we'll be able to somewhat secure this place. So we've got our entry door over there. So that'll keep, uh, keep the place a little more dried in and secure. All right, so that's the update on the carriage house. Uh, keep tuning back in, we'll have more of this to come as this place comes together. And of course, we're gonna continue to put uh, content out there for 
the house. As we've wrapped up a lot of those projects, we'll have more content coming out and uh, show you guys what's to come because there's still a lot of projects to come. So see you guys again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.